Welcome to the School Library Pulse, your monthly source of inspiration and motivation from South Dakota State Library School Library Services. Each month, we share heartwarming stories and uplifting moments submitted by school librarians across the state and designed to empower and energize. Thank you for tuning in for this brief boost that will set a positive tone for your month and remind you of the incredible impact you have on your students and community. Our first story is about finding common ground. Our librarian writes, I work with immersion students, ones who have been in the US less than two years. I find these students some of the hardest to reach. Many have had a hard road getting here. Some have never even seen a school. Others are afraid if they say the wrong thing or do something wrong, they could have their entire family uprooted and sent back to wherever they came. Over the past year, I've had many stories of students that I have been able to reach over time. I started adding lessons about other countries, and these were not only to help the students from the other countries, but also all of the students in my school. One group of students that sticks out was a family of Ukrainians. All of the children were quiet and would never talk. From testing, I knew they had some English skills, but still in the library, they were quiet. When I was in high school, I went to so the Soviet Union. One thing I brought back with me was a couple of sets of nesting dolls. Well, during the lesson, I first said the name of these dolls wrong, and the oldest boy had to very loudly correct my pronunciation. It was the first time I had been able to confirm he was following my lessons, as well as the first time I heard him very clearly. Needless to say, from that point on, all of that family was smiling, talking, and enjoying the library for the rest of the year. I used this idea with many of my other families and was able to get many to come out of their shells, but this family will always be very special to me. Our next story is titled, You Can Hear a Pin Drop, and our librarian tells us, one of the things our library hosts every year is book battles for our third through fifth graders. Students look forward to this every year. I have heard time and again from teachers and parents how this event pushed their child to finish chapter books. Some of them finish their first chapter book ever in this process. I have also heard from teachers that they love these two months because their students are so engaged during independent reading time that they struggle to get them to put their books down and that you can hear a pin drop because it is so quiet. I love that this event allows students to create camaraderie with their peers around books. It creates great book discussions and offers a springboard for them to select their next book as well. And finally, one librarian tells us about all the little moments. They write, I don't have one amazing story like so many others do, but for me it has been all the little things that make my heart happy. When there was an author visit towards the end of my first school year, the elementary kids were asking questions about things they didn't know until I taught them in library class. All the times the kids say they are happy they can come to the library now. All the moments when a struggling reader moves up a little bit in their reading levels. The moments when you help a student who doesn't like to read find something they love to read. My most recent favorite was on the 4th of July. I saw a student who was an ELL student that moved to town in the middle of the year. She was talking to my daughter and I and said, when people ask me who my favorite teacher is, I say the librarian. Everyone else says the PE teacher because we get to play games and stuff, but I say the librarian. These are the moments that remind me why I love what I do. Join us next month for more motivational stories shared by inspirational South Dakota school librarians.